So I am currently going to measure out 0.7 milliliters of <laughs> benzyl conium chloride. <laughs> better at documenting or just recording in general on a regular basis this week um i feel like usually my vlogs are super not like inconsistent but they're just like random days like there'll be like four day gaps or something like that but um i really wanted to document what it's like um and throughout the week as a pharmacy student because it's, it's not just exams but it's like all the little things between it too i'm not sure what i left out i feel like i've been sick and half asleep this whole time but um there's little assignments i'll show you guys right now when i get home but there's little assignments i had due so we had csa and we had to do a self-reflection and during patient assessment class we have um, a partner we have to evaluate our partner during workshop time which is on a weekly basis we practice with our partner um, in the patient rooms with the preceptor. Before CSA, which is clinical skills assessment, we go in on our own to see a patient. We document everything by ourselves and converse everything by ourselves. And after we do our silk notes, which is stands for subjective, objective assessment and plan uh, within 15 minutes. So, um, so even after that, we have to, uh, the videos are recorded and we have to evaluate ourselves and grade, grade ourselves. Also with my uh, SOAR sites, when I go see the residents, we have assignments and this week we went over immunizations. So the first time we went to go see our resident, uh, we looked over, well, before we even met our residents, we looked through their charts um, and we just document anything we see that involves their medications, their vaccinations, immunizations. And yesterday um, when we went to go see the residents we just asked them what vaccinations do you remember receiving and do you remember when since we see two residents each week uh, one, my one resident, she just remembered getting the flu shot. She didn't wasn't really familiar with it. Whereas my second resident, she knew her medications and her immunizations really well. She knew what she got down to the date. So everybody's really different. And uh, let me tell you, don't judge people by their charts because one of our patients is in the skilled wing. And I thought that she was going to be like in bed rest and tired, but she's actually really friendly. She knows her material really well. So I love that. Just seeing, instead of seeing patients on paper like we usually see in our cases, we actually get to see them in person. So that's pretty cool. So today's Thursday. I had my lab quiz today. I had my lab. We had in class assignment in public health. Tomorrow's Friday, which is case study. I am team lead this week. I do have to present the case to the preceptor, so I have to tell them about the case before we dive into the questions. Yeah, this weekend I really have to dive in and start studying because my infectious exam is on Monday. So I only have. Two days to study but thank god i have two full days like it's not like a school day which just going to school just takes a lot of energy itself because you have to park and walk and pack for class get ready for school you know pack lunch all that good stuff okay so let me show you what is on this exam from as you see from the highlight of yellow from exam one to exam two all of everything in between that i will be going over this weekend <laughs> for exam two for infectious disease so we have three different professors teaching this exam so everybody teaches it very differently so i actually study very differently so as of right now i've went over one professor's materials and i'm about to start with um, the second professor so the first professor he mostly goes over the chemistry of things so something I found useful is that for structures, instead of spending time drawing them out, I print them out and put them in my notebook instead. I'm someone who has to write my notes out to really understand something. I can't just print out the PowerPoints and just take notes because for me to really understand something is to rewrite something in my own words. I was able to watch the Panopto and just take notes straight from what he was saying. But for Dr. N's materials, his PowerPoint slides aren't as helpful to me as Dr. W's. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take notes myself straight from the computer 
so that I can gather everything I can and then I will write everything into the notebook. So these two screens are so helpful because I can watch lecture from one screen and I can also take notes on one note on this screen. All right, I'm gonna dive in. With very serious infections like endocarditis, do not do as well with vancomycin when you treat with when you treat an enterococcus. Nor do they do as well with ampicillin. So I have done three lectures so far. I want to try to get at minimum two more in before I get to bed. Then I can have four to do tomorrow. Ugh, this is so bad. <laughs> Hey guys, it is Sunday, um, almost 4 p.m. and I'm studying still for infectious. I don't know if I ever told you guys about it, but there was a time when I skipped class on purpose and I totally forgot because I ran into a classmate um, while I was walking to class and we had the intention of entering class. So she opened the door for me and I walked in. I think I already mentioned it, but it's a, it was actually a professor I knew who was teaching also, but it was recorded on Panopto, so <laughs> I'm just catching it right now, and it's so embarrassing. Let me show you guys. Today, which is going to cause you know, four times more GI upset every time that they, they took a dose. So Azithro definitely has... has uh, That was Amy, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. She's, she's supposed to be in. <laughs> oh my gosh, so kind. Uh, <laughs> um, so, so again, all of the macrolides can cause GI upset, uh, but azithro definitely can. <laughs> so, that so is don't so bad. Out of this all right, guys, so note to self, don't skip class because you will get caught up. <laughs> okay, it is Monday, and it's almost 4 o'clock. So that means I already had my infectious disease exam. Um, I felt like when I was taking the exam, I have actually felt pretty good, but it's so weird. Do you ever have that situation where you feel super confident, but then you actually didn't even do that well? So that happened, so that was kind of disappointing, but it wasn't just me, it was a lot of my classmates who said that too. So maybe there was a lot of trick questions, I'm not sure, but I'm just hoping it ends up being curved maybe, but we'll see about that. Well, yeah, so I got about maybe three hours, less than three hours of sleep, took my exam, came home, um, knocked out for like maybe two hours. Uh, a got groceries, but the show goes on because I have so much to do this week. I didn't. I totally underestimated it, and it's kind of scary. But I drew out my weekly schedule. I do whenever I have a busy week. So let me show you guys what's going on here. So everything in green is an assignment due or something coming up, and um, everything in. Red is organizational things. Oh yeah, if you haven't already, follow me on Instagram. I post a lot on my story, just my regular day-to-day -day life. But let me show you guys. Showing exam, but in and out because priorities. I do a lot of boomerangs. It is 7 o'clock p.m. on a Monday and I just woke up from a nap. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I just turned on the camera right now because I'm just going through a little funk or something. I'm not sure what it is, but I don't know if it was the beginning of the semester or later on, but I don't know. I was just... I'm just not into it this semester. There's something, maybe I'm just homesick, I'm not sure. But yeah, I've just been in this funk for the past, I wanna say like, few weeks. Um, I don't know what it is, but it's, it's also making me not really care about school. I'm doing okay this semester, I'm passing everything, um, but I'm just not striving and trying to do my complete best like I did last semester. 
it's a good semester to be in a funk just because this is our easiest semester and I'm even taking an elective uh, medical Spanish so I'm taking 20 credits right now and it's not hard it's just a lot of little busy work and a lot of things I'm forgetting like I'm good thing we have like announcements and people who remind us because I would totally forget all these little stuff I mean I guess it's bound to happen am I going through a quarter life crisis I don't know <laughs> but um I just hope I fall out of this because I'm just honestly just waiting for summer I mean I'm gonna be working a lot in the summer so I just keep wanting to go home and like see my friends back home I don't know I just hope I get out of this funk because I'm not motivated and like things don't matter to me as much anymore I just kind of get by and I don't know it's a rough start for 2018 for me all right guys well I do have a Spanish midterm tomorrow that I haven't started studying for yet I've been trying to study for this for a couple days now but I just can't seem to start see what I mean like you're I feel like the I feel like when you're in a certain mood it plays such a huge role in how you are throughout the day so I really want to get out of this funk um maybe I'll go home for my birthday I'm trying to open myself up a little bit more on YouTube uh I usually only turn on the camera when everything's going really well when my studies are going well when I have makeup on all that good stuff but um I'm gonna try to turn on the camera more at vulnerable states just to be real with you guys it is hard because I have so much stuff going on I can't really edit so I can't really post that often but I'm just gonna try to collect footage so then when I do post I have quality content for you guys all right well okay I think I said it three times already but I'm gonna go study hope everything's going well with you guys bye